Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It's another episode, One Day in Sapporo. My name is Neil, and today I'm gonna take you, along with me, to one of my favorite ski and snowboard resorts here in Sapporo. It's called Sapporo Koksai, or Sapporo International. It's a big mountain. They got great snow conditions, lots of different courses, some great eating options. It's a really cool place to hang out for a day, ski and snowboard. Sapporo Koksai is located inside the Shikotsu Toya National Park. So it's a really beautiful protected wilderness area. Got a lot of great trees, these Japanese birch trees. We also have a lot of the local uh, species of pine trees. So really beautiful forested area. If you're coming to Sapporo Koksai on a weekday, you can expect pretty minimal crowds. But if you come on a weekend, remember, the gondola opens at 8.30 a.m. and the crowds are pretty uh, substantial. So you'll wanna get here a little early, get your lift ticket, get all your gear ready, rental, etc. Be ready to get in line for that first run. Mm. Here in Sapporo Koksai, this is the Meruhen Bell. It was erected uh, when they built the resort close to 40 years ago. So I think we'll start the day by ringing the bell. Oh yeah, here we go. Welcome to the top gondola station here at Sapporo Koksai. Let's go outside. Right, time to take a little look around the base here at Sapporo Koksai. Behind me we have the eight-person gondola that gets you all the way up to the peak. You got all your restaurants and break rooms here at the base. And that little line over there, that's where everybody gets their lift tickets in the morning. Over here we have a conveyor belt for the very beginners. And we have the Meiderhen lift. This is sort of a good lift to start for beginners and also families. It takes you up to a nice mellow cruiser run that comes all the way back down to the bottom. All right, it's a beautiful day with really good snow conditions. We're gonna go up and take a couple runs. Oh, look at this, the sun's even coming out. I just want to get some faces. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> okay, I think it's time for a coffee. Let's take a break at this beautiful cafe at the top of the mountain. Welcome to SKS International Cafe, the mountaintop cafe at the very top of Sapporo Koksai. 1,100 meters in elevation. You got the gondola station right there. And we got this cool cafe at the top. I have to be honest with you, I am actually the manager and owner of the cafe this year here in Koksai. So uh, I have a deep connection to this spot. Sorry, yeah, I put your hot chocolate over there. Number six. Very, very cream cheese bagel, I'm going to ask you. Thank you very much. Ah, it's so delicious. Yay. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, dude, oh. Really? I'm like, well, let's do that more talking like because that's what I do every season. <laughs> Great guys, man. They're my brothers, you know. Mm. Like, but they're, they're, these guys are less than mm. Americans and stuff. All right, it's time to take a bit of a tour. I'm gonna show you some of the courses and some of the lifts that operate here at Sapporo Koksai as I cruise down to the bottom of the hill, and then we're gonna go grab lunch. Welcome to the Doppelmayr quad hooded lift here at Sapporo Koksai. This is only three years old. It's got these really nice comfortable seats. Got these cool little, uh, I don't know what you call, I don't know what the word is for that, but you can put your board on it. It's like a little triangle there. Very comfortable. We get really, really cold temperatures here at Sapporo Koksai. Like today, it's like minus eight or nine degrees Celsius. It's very cold. You definitely want to be inside the gondola or the hooded quad. And this lift allows you to lap the upper half of the mountain where the snow is really good. This is a great wide open course here right off the top. Really Plenty of room for everybody to do lots of wide carving turns. Also a great place for the family. All right, fantastic conditions today at Sapporo Koksai. Really great snow. As you can see, the Merohen course is kind of this long winding course. Great for families and beginners, but also a lot of fun for expert skiers as well. Get a lot of terrain and it is kind of a long leg burner. We're still uh, not all the way down. All right, let's see if we can get down to the bottom. Make a couple more turns and I'm getting hungry. I think it's time to go have some lunch. Okay, it is time for lunch here at Sapporo Koksai. Got a whole bunch of restaurant choices actually. There's woodpecker, there's squirrel, there's owl, and then there's rabbit. 
So as you can see, we're definitely going with the animal theme here at Sapporo Kokusai. Today, I think I'm gonna go into a Rabbit, which is the main large restaurant. They have a menu here that is locally produced. It's kind of their main famous menu. It's called curry ramen. So it's a combination of a curry, Indian style curry, and a ramen, which is a traditional kind of Japanese lunch. So let's get in there and uh, it's actually gonna be the first time I've ever had this. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Let's go try it out. to confirm your order. Please tap please wait for ticket and change. Alright, I've got my curry ramen and I gotta admit, this is a pretty impressive size bowl. I think you're gonna need to ski a lot so that you can eat this much food. It's a big bowl of ramen, you got curry, and then you got this uh, deep fried cutlet resting on top of it. Alright, here we go. My first try, curry ramen. really good and it's actually quite spicy. I like it. Curry spice. All right, back on the gondola after lunch, heading back up to the top. Wow, that lunch, that was, that was good. Curry, I love curry and I love ramen. Who was the genius that decided to combine the two? Curry ramen. I love it. Definitely a food item you're gonna to wanna to check out if you come here and ski or snowboard at Sapporo Kokusai. Here at the top of the mountain, uh, we got some great views. We're at 1,100 meters elevation. We can see the Japan Sea, the city of Otaru, the city of Sapporo. And today we got some really cold temperatures and that has brought some beautiful snow onto the trees and the branches. The crystals are sparkling in the sunshine. You will want to keep an eye out for these trail signs here as you cruise around the mountain. They are all in Japanese, but it's very simple. It's color coded. The green means simple beginner runs. The red means intermediate. And the black is for the advanced or the expert skier. All right, I had to stop on the course real quick here just to soak in this sunshine and these beautiful snowflakes falling out of the sky. Just wanted to sum up Sapporo Kokusai for you. I think it's a great mountain for people of all abilities, whether you're a family or a diehard skier. There's something here for everyone. We got all kinds of courses. They're quite long. You're gonna get your money's worth here at Sapporo Kokusai. It's also within the Sapporo city limits. It's less than an hour from downtown Sapporo. So you can go from great nightlife or city life up here to the mountains and enjoy this wild nature that Hokkaido offers. So one of my favorites and will always be Sapporo Kokusai. And look at this, what a day. All right.
right, it's time to uh, head down, get to the car, and I think today I might go to uh, Hot Springs. About a 30 minute drive from here, we can get to a place called Hoheikyo. Great natural hot springs with an outdoor bath. You're gonna love it. Follow me, let's go. Okay, we are about to arrive at Hoheikyo Onsen. This is an amazing natural hot springs. It's one of my favorite places to go after skiing or snowboarding. You know, you get cold out in the mountains and you gotta get in that hot water and just really warm up from your core. It's absolutely fantastic. So let's jump in the bath and uh, that's gonna wrap up today's episode. I just wanted to share this spot with you. I think it's a really beautiful spot and a great place to come and uh, make sure you get warm and stay healthy. Okay folks, this is Hoheikyo Onsen. Fantastic hot springs, beautiful and really large outdoor bath. Today we're gonna jump in there, get warm after all that snowboarding. And we might also take a look at their amazing restaurant. They serve really good Indian curry along with Japanese soba. It is so amazing here in Hokkaido, being able to sit in a natural outdoor hot springs and look at the snow falling all around you, I really think this is a true paradise. Having a really great natural hot springs like this, so close to a ski resort, this is a truly amazing thing. To be able to ski and then soak right after, I love it. All right, I feel so much better now. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a look at one of my favorite onsens or hot spring spots, Hoheikyo Onsen. They also have a great restaurant. Make sure you stop in, have some food, and soak in the bath. All right, I'll see you on the next episode, folks. Have a nice day.